Oh, it's been so long. Okay, hi everybody. Welcome back to... Stop that. Ah! Hi everybody, welcome back to Less From Beyond. The reason why I haven't played this, I haven't played this game for a couple, for, for like a month. I haven't, oh my gosh, what are words? I woke up at midnight last night and stayed awake for five hours plus. So, I, I've had like, I don't know, two hours of sleep? Four, maybe? Yeah, yes, I want to play in censorship mode because YouTube already likes to screw me. Anyway, let's finish this game, shall we? Let's do it. Alrighty, right where we left off. I got my mask on. That, that had no straps. How's that staying on my face? Alright. Hello, friendship. Yeah. Have I found more of these thingies? No, I have not. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Yo, that's her. That's the... What the heck? Hey, what the... Wow, I was able to grab that through the thing. Yo, uh, hey, uh, do you know that you are not safe with a voodoo doll? That's the... Damn. Maybe she likes the pain. You, who knows, right? In this world. Okay. I like it. I don't even want to begin to think why this horse is here. Was that always here? I don't think that was always here. Ooh! I need that. It's for over there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Nice. I just need one more for the dagger of time. Is this door opened? It is. Music is louder over here. What the fuck? Hey! hey. <sighs> Sweet! Holy shit! Hey! Let's go! Really sharp. Well worth the effort. Once there's no one to stab, I'll return it. So we have. Ooh. Butternaf. Alrighty! I wonder if I could have gotten it a lot earlier and I'm just dumb. Where is everybody? Uh, well, what happened to Buddy? I'm sure Amanda will open Zuthra with Victor's help, therefore my mission has come to an end. If I hadn't had Danny's help, whom I had managed to deceive in the underground, I would have surely been dead by now. The fear of death made me realize the importance of perception and personality given to me by the absolute knowing what is coming. I wanted to spend the next few days enjoying the charms of humanity to the fullest. This is the solution I have found to be the most rational. I know, oh, the irony. I may even sound like Australis himself. It's not the first time the lunatics and fools have been partly right. Please be there for Amanda during this time and serve her with dignity. I know you have objections to her actions. Victor and Bobby have not been given new names, and who knows what other traditions the Queen of Ecstasy will break in the future. The fact that Luva Brock favors her above all just makes me realize how little our habits mean in the face of his power. Let us not be petty. Guard the Cult of Ecstasy. Open soon, then I shall return. So it's just like, sweet, I've done my part. I'm going to go out smashing, or... Whatever the... Ew. Sorry. They are our brothers fucking. and sisters have already started. That's not no. Mm -hmm. Listen to them. What a symphony they perform. Today is exceptionally majestic, for their ecstasy is being carried by the winter solstice winds. Are you ready, seeing one? Just like every day. Raise your prayers to Lava Brark, the lustful god, and follow his call. Oh dear, here we go. Mm. 
Nice. I love how censorship is just like, nah, this is just some ass. Hi, I don't know who you are, but I'm down to say hello. Wow, I'm already just raging hard, huh? And now you're dog meat on the floor because I'm better than you, apparently. What the fuck? Yves Lavobrock, Yves Lustga. Yves Lavobrock, Yves Lustga. Okay. I need to go back to my room. Amanda wants me to get through this book as soon as possible. Gotta smash at least once a day and then move on with your shit. I'd expect it a lot, but this is even more than I'd anticipated. Don't you want to join in? Uh, I'm a novice. I'd rather watch. My name is Natalia, by the way. Hi. Victor, I'm one of the seeing ones. Really? Me too. I was in the lodge until it collapsed. And I wandered around until I found out there's no escaping the land of ecstasy. You were a seeing one in Austerlitz's reach? And you're still alive? I hid my gift. I've seen what they do to people like me. That's why I kept those visions to myself. Those fucking psychopaths. I had to watch what they were doing to the other seeing ones. And to blend in, I sometimes had to participate in it too. It gave me no choice. If it makes you feel any better, you're only the second person from the Scarlet Lodge that seems normal. Yeah. Luska's affected each of us to a different degree. Who was the first person? No one worth mentioning now. Natalia, consider participating in the rituals as soon as you can. That'll help you find your place here and unite with us. I... It's still too much for me. I'm afraid of losing control all the time. And it feels too much like the Scarlet Lodge. You shouldn't be saying this out loud. Let the light of Lava Rock guide you, seeing one. I mean, there's plenty of options to choose from, ma'am. I, I saw that you're already eyeing our new sister. What do you think of her? Withdrawn, confused, lost, nothing new. And what new knowledge did you gain from researching the nature of universes? Mm -hmm. I am very curious about what conclusions were drawn from the work of Doreen Austerlitz. Each day brings me closer to understanding the truth about Lustka. Unfortunately, it seems to me that the book is incomplete. Based on the binding, I can tell that pages have been removed. How lucky we were that Lava Brock chose an antiquarian to be a seeing one. Mm hmm. Perhaps somewhere in the journal of La Cie, you will find the answer. Are you talking about the sacred book of La Cie? No, the book of La Cie contains a collection of truths and rituals related to Lustga. His journal is much more simplified. Lassie was the right hand of Doreen Austerlitz, and I know that his work included a description of the contents within the nature of universes. Where can I find this journal? In the library? Yes. However, hmm, it's not that easy. One of the Enlightened Ones secured the journal, but later died fighting Austerlitz's minions. Since then, none of us have been able to open this peculiar little box. Many peculiar little boxes have passed through my antique shop. I think I should be fine. If you need help, there's a note in my room with an incomplete set of instructions on how to open it. Mm hmm It's all I've managed to figure out so far. But maybe you'll do better. Here is the key to my room. Just don't touch anything else. Damn, everything in here blurred, huh? <laughs> what the fuck? Who the fuck's laughing? That's all that Theodore was able to establish on opening the box. That's fine. We'll figure it out. We're gamers. We love puzzles. Hello, Theodore's old friend.
Why stone, though? Huh. Hmm. What? The Journal of La Sikh that tells worked? about the 27 visions describing the technology of the omniscience that can be found in the nature of the universes. I was right. Our copy is incomplete. Mabel! Hey, man. What's going on? Also, I did not... I that was a, such an act. I fluked that so hard. Saw girl. Sitting in the library as usual. Remember to also take care of your body from time to time. I did something for my body during the ritual. What about you? What, I was what the fuck does that mean? I was looking for Bobby. Have you seen him? Not today, but yesterday he looked very excited. Wouldn't say what was going on. He was drunk as usual, so I didn't press anything. Did something happen? It's just, I have a bad feeling. And that, that's all? I'm worried he's nowhere to be found. Last time he disappeared, the lodge caught him. I don't know, maybe I'm overreacting. I don't feel great around the solstice. A year and a half ago, Christopher disappeared and... Is that the one you had a crush on? No, oh, stop it. Christopher was a seeing one, just like you and Bobby. And a year and a half ago, it was a terrible night. I'm afraid it will happen again. What happened back then? I... No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't tell you. Okay, cool. Well, we'll move on. Uh, but uh, I kind of like to press you issues. Me, really? Maybe... Maybe later. And, and not here. I'm afraid someone will hear us. Let's meet at midnight in the attic. Hmm. Fine. If that's what it takes. Thank you. Especially since I know how busy you are. I just discovered that the nature of the universes is missing quite a bit of information about the technology of the omniscience. But why would Austerlitz get rid of it? Or was his grandmother behind it? It's all very interesting, but I'm not in the right headspace for it. I'll see you later. Yeah. See you later. Well, thanks for setting up stuff and being absolutely freaking yummy. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Who the fuck are you? Not that I give a shit. Ephraim, you weren't at the ritual again. What's it to you? Amanda told you to do a head count during the orgy? Got a problem? I noticed you've been avoiding me, so I wanted to chat. Don't be so nervous. Nervous? Who do you think you're talking to? A little bitch. If I don't attend the orgies, are you going to throw me out of here like you did with Jonathan? What are you talking about? I've been with the association for 12 years, and you come out of nowhere and start telling us what's what. And regardless of whatever bullshit you do, you always get away with it in Amanda's eyes. Jonathan didn't leave on a whim. You know what he did. I know what he did to you. But to me... He was a friend who had to leave because of you. And honestly, the only thing that redeems you is that you took out Austerlitz. You were able to do something that Amanda and Sabidian couldn't. But it doesn't mean that I like that you're a big shot around here. To me, you're still just a novice at best. Look, I'm sorry you see it that way. I don't feel any more important than you, despite being a seeing one. Fine. See you at tomorrow's ritual, Victor. Damn, so they really do just have an orgy every day. Solid. Path of Candles. Amanda's signature move. Looks like the evening is just getting started. Aren't these candles like always up here? Oh, fuck. Oh, nice. Sweet. So we're going to be doing some nice, deep sexual torture tonight. That's fucking perfect. And Buddy gets to fucking peek in on us, huh? You son of a bitch. Oh. Oh, we're... Oh, okay. So we're not playing with any of these things, huh? I mean, good. Because I don't... Wa How the fuck does this shit work? I don't want to know. That is a strap-on dildo. What the, what am I going in circles for? 
Ooh, a bra. How did my dumbass not see this fucking shit? Bullshit. This was this was not here. The fuck? Oh no. Uh, 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 uh. Fuck. I think I know what this leads to. What the fuck? You have a you have a set of front legs that you hold up for. Okay. This bitch bringing fucking candles. That looks like a rib cage. That was like wet and crunchy. And I'm not a fan. The fuck is that? Oh shit! <laughs> Alrighty, you do not like me standing there. That's fine. I'm curious as to what the fuck. Is this just his giant vagina? Nice, it is. See, I don't see how that's... Uh, to me, that doesn't make sense as to why that would be censored. Because it's not... It, like... It's not... I'm not aroused. <gasps> what the fuck is that thing?! Holy shit, where the fuck did that come from?! What the fuck is that?! Okay, maybe I need to kill this thing near here. What the fuck is this? Hey, buddy. There we go. That works. Alright. Okay, that thing didn't look like the other thing that I killed, so- <gasps> The fuck off, you- Stupid fucking shit. The hell? This is the first time I've been scared in this game. Everything else has just been, I'm like, what the frig am I looking at? What the fuck is this? Open up the rib cage. Why do I look so freaking slimy? Oh, fuck me. It's not what I was expecting to happen at all. Well, I mean, it sucks to be you. Hey, Amanda. How are you doing? Welcome to the Chamber of Trinity, Victor. I've Hi. heard so much about this place. It's truly amazing. Today is the winter solstice. That's not a coincidence, is it? During the solstice, the lines between worlds blur more than usual. Essence streams become more powerful, but also more unpredictable. Yeah, I already got to that part in the nature of universes. So then you know what the three statues standing here represent. Yes. Humor me. I enjoy listening to you. Do that real quick. That way I don't have to worry about editing. Okay! This is Akmalale, the inspired mistress. She led the cast of the Seekers. Its members were focused on exploring the secrets of the Essence and understanding the nature of the other universes. When Lauvabrak announced the plan to transform the beings of Lustga into entities that would experience continual ecstasy, Akmalale was the first to join him. She embraced the teachings of the Lustful God while passing to him the truths she knew. That's when she opened the mind of Lauvabrak to the Essence so that he could use it to contact us. Akmalala is especially dear to me. The ability to see and shape the essence is a divine gift. In that respect, no seeing one will ever match you. Some have been endowed with equally important abilities. 
The middle statue, of course, represents the lustful god, Lauvarok. He turned the beings of Lustga into entities that experienced only lust. Now that Lustga is dying, he's enhancing its essence to deliver visions to those most sensitive to it, such as us. As soon as Zuthrar is activated, Lustga will be cleansed and the visions will cease. At least, that's his plan. Do you still wish these visions would stop? You understand Lustga better each day. In time, the fear subsides and the enchantment grows in its place. I can see it happening in your eyes. After what I've been through, it's the only way not to go mad. The story of Lustga is a story of escaping consciousness. This is what I need right now. Ogra Ekna, the Great Liberator. Before the victory of Lauvabrak, he belonged to the caste of the Omniscience, which he eventually betrayed. To the lustful god himself, he was a guide in matters of science and technology. He helped him make Lustga into what it is today. Were it not for him, Lauvabrak would have never completed his plan to transform the beings of Lustga into the changed. That's why I think Ogra Ekna is the most important among the Trinity. A bold reasoning. I hear admiration in your voice. I've always been on the side of the rationalists. Your knowledge is impressive. But it shouldn't be limited to Lustga. What do you know about Willard Yelperton? He was the leader of the Cult of Ecstasy, and opened the gates to Lustga. If I remember correctly, he sacrificed the child of a Seeing One to Lustga. Correct. And that child was mine. What? He imprisoned me, raped me, and then gave our child to the land of Lustga. Thus opening a portal. So there are people worse than Austerlitz. Willard felt he fully understood what Lustga was, that it was enough to get there to experience eternal happiness. But with each passing day, I was getting closer to Lauvabrak, and I understood more and more. The Lustful God wanted to bring us to this hall, to the Chamber of Trinity. It's here that the essence of the three Lustgen deities is contained. During the solstice, this room can grant a chosen person the power of one of them. Is that why you brought me here? Only the marked seeing ones may receive this gift. Willard Yelverton was here first. He received the essence of Lauvabrak himself. That's when he became the initiator of his will. When I came here, I received the essence of Akmalala, the inspired mistress. Since then, I've been able to open portals and shape essence better than anyone. So one remains. Ogra Ekna, the Great Liberator. Am I supposed to fulfill his role? Looking at how much you've achieved, I'm hopeful. All you have to do is release your desires here, in the Chamber of Trinity. If we succeed, we will feel your growing bond with Ugra Ekna. What if it doesn't happen? You've come too far to back down now. This is the moment when we find out if you're a god's avatar or a god's meal. And now, come to me. So why would... Oh, really, just... Okay.